Welcome to Opening Night presented by Nationwide. This is the Rink Report presented by Telhio Credit Union. I'm Dylan Tire with you ahead of the Blue Jackets and the Arizona Coyotes tonight. And here to get you ready for all the action are Bob McElligot and Jody Shelley. Well, first of all, welcome back to Nationwide Arena. Jody, it's so good to be back in this building, full of people, unlike last year, and this is going to be great. There's nothing like the emotion of hockey, but the fans back here with their team, boy, it takes it to the level that it's supposed to be at. Let's talk about the Blue Jackets and what is different. And actually, what's different, there's a lot of the same two. Jake Voracek, he was originally a Blue Jacket. He went to Philly for a decade. He's back, so that's kind of the same. You have a lot of familiar faces here, but then some new ones as well. And one of the big storylines tonight is Cole Sillinger making his NHL debut. Yeah, you know what? The Blue Jackets organization have gone uh, through some big changes. Uh, some familiar names have moved along, but here you are with this team and this organization moving forward. And that's the key here. You got two guys that are making their National Hockey League debut, Cole Sillinger and Gregory Hoffman. These two guys are going to be forwards up there. Cole's going to play in the middle between Boone Jenner and Max Domi, and you'll see Hoffman throw out the lineman. He's a good skater, a good player. They've earned their way to the, the uh, roster in camp. And then Boquist and Bean, two defensemen out there, their Blue Jackets debut, along with Sean Corrali, local product. He'll be a center iceman out there taking some defensive zone draws all over the ice. Watch his hustle, Bob. He doesn't stop moving. To talk about Voracek for just a second, the power play. During the preseason, he helped it a lot. Do you expect that to continue? Absolutely. And when you watch the power play tonight, watch Jake Voracek carry the puck into the zone. He is the conductor. He is now going to grab this thing and take it. Through the neutral zone, everything goes through Jake when it's in the setup in the offensive zone. He'll be on the right wall commanding and, to, and seeing what's available. He's got Jenner in front. He's got Patrick Liney, the weapon, on the other side. And who knows, if they overplay him, Jake might have some ice himself. I want to ask you about opening night. There's a lot of emotion. Oh, yeah. This opening night is going to be even a little bit different. There's excitement, and then we'll honor Matisse Kivlenix here. And that's going to be a different type of emotion. As a player, how do you rein it all in and make sure you play the right way in the first 10 minutes? It's really a great point because an unspeakable tragedy happened to this organization in the offseason, affecting the players and some of that are in, a lot that are in the lineup tonight. Uh, our hearts are with uh, Matisse and his family who are here in the building. As Blue Jackets fans and a member of, of uh, the Blue Jackets family, our hearts will be there and our thoughts will be there. But you're right, there's a game to play. And maybe in his honor, there's an extra boost of emotion. So the Blue Jackets will be excited, but they'll have Matisse on the ice with his number, and he'll be remembered in this building, and, and it'll be quite the situation. But embrace it, get through the first 10 minutes, and it's a key. The excitement of playing your first game, I don't care if you're a rookie or a veteran, it's been a long time since you've seen fans back in the building, all those emotions together, keep things simple early. That's always the mantra. Let's see the Blue Jackets do that and get through this Arizona team and get the W. And one last thing, speaking of Arizona, you look at their roster, there are actually a lot of familiar names, but it's kind of a, a thrown-together roster. But you can't think that this team doesn't have players that can't perform because they do. Oh, absolutely. Chickering was a defenseman who led all D-men in the National Hockey League with goals last year at 18 from the blue line. They've got some good draft picks. Phil Kessel's still there. This team is a lot like the Blue Jackets. No one's going to give them a chance, but they're going to work extremely hard, and they have enough talent to be dangerous. So not a game or a situation to be taken lightly. All right, that's what to watch for tonight. So enjoy the opening ceremonies and enjoy the game. Opening night is always such an exciting time here at Nationwide Arena. Even better to be back to full capacity this evening. And Blue Jackets defenseman Zach Wierenski says he's eager to play in front of the fifth line. Yeah, we're excited. Uh, obviously, last year with uh, not having full fans, definitely a little bit different. Um, you know, long off season, long training camp. So we're excited to get out there in front of our fans again. And uh, should be a loud building. Should be a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, we're just really excited to get back out there in front of them. The Blue Jackets and the Coyotes tonight at Nationwide Arena. This is the Rink Report presented by Telhio Credit Union. For Bob McElligot and Jody Shelley, I'm Dylan Tyre saying enjoy the game.